In this clip, we're going to talk about the proper service procedure for removing and replacing a rear axle U-joint on a Ford Explorer. In this step, we're going to talk about the proper service procedure for indexing of the drive shaft and actual removal. The drive shaft is not balanced when it's made, and they take it and put it in a machine and spin it to a high speed and apply weights to it. We're going to want to match that drive shaft up exactly where it came from on the vehicle. To do that, we're going to use a piece of soapstone. What I'm going to do with my soapstone is take and draw a large line down the drive shaft onto the other side of the U joint and down the axle flange and onto the differential case. The reason why I put such a large mark on there is during the service procedure you may rub off a small mark. If you were just taking and put a little dinky mark on there, you may actually rub it off and then you'll, you run the possibility of lining it up out of balance. On this style U joint or drive shaft, you're going to have to use a hammer to break the corrosion between the pinion flange and the end of the drive shaft. So I'm going to hold on to it with my hands and pop it with a hammer. As you can see, it's beginning to break free. What you're going to do is just slide it out from there. All right. And there we go. Once you have it free, from the pinion flange, you can slide it out of the front of the transmission, or out of the rear of the transmission. It just slides together. Just go ahead and grab a hold of the drive shaft and slide it out. Just like so. That is the proper way to index your drive shaft and remove it from the vehicle for you joint service.